question from a viewer, why is the boiling point of water so high? Now, first of all, so high is not exactly the words I'd use. Ionic compounds take way more energy, way higher of a temperature to boil. Covalent networks are similar. <clears throat> but in terms of covalent compounds, yeah, water's got a high boiling point. The reason your teacher wants to hear is intermolecular forces. These are the temporary attractions between two different molecules. There are three main intermolecular forces that you probably have to know about. The strongest of those is called hydrogen bonding. It occurs whenever you have oxygen, sorry, hydrogen bonded to either nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Some teachers include chlorine in that. There's also one called dipole-dipole forces, which only applies for polar molecules. And London dispersion forces. All molecules have some of these, but London dispersion forces are only ever the most important force for nonpolar compounds. Again, as soon as a molecule is polar, Dipole-dipole forces are the strongest intermolecular force between them. Water. Being a molecule that has hydrogen bonded to oxygen has, sure, some London dispersion forces, and because water is polar, some dipole-dipole forces, and because it has hydrogen bonded to oxygen, it also has hydrogen bonding. The boiling point of water is so high because the molecules are attracted to each other by hydrogen bonding, as well as dipole-dipole and -dipole dispersion forces, but it's the hydrogen bonding that really plays a role in controlling its boiling point. If you want to know what the hydrogen bonds are all about, I'll show you. A water molecule is shaped like this. It's like a non-linear bent molecule shape. The oxygen has a high electronegativity, and the hydrogen has a low electronegativity. So, the electrons in these single bonds are much more attracted to the oxygen, simply because oxygen is more electronegative. Now, it's not a full minus one plus one charge or anything, so the way that we show it is with a little tiny delta minus. Now, that's the lowercase delta in Greek little tiny delta plus here, little tiny delta plus here. What I'm actually almost on the way to showing here is a dipole, but it's such a strong dipole that we can call it hydrogen bonding. And then when another oxygen molecule, sorry, oxygen atom from a water molecule comes by with its delta minus, delta plus, delta plus, you wanna believe that this plus and minus are attracted to each other opposites tracked. And so the green solid lines here are covalent bonds that hold the molecule together. This dotted line that I'm showing you is an attraction between the delta minus oxygen and the delta plus hydrogen. When it's hydrogen bonded to N or O or F and sometimes Cl, this delta attraction is so strong, we end up calling it hydrogen bonding. It's really just like dipole-dipole forces on steroids. This is what you're breaking when you boil water. You're not breaking the covalent bonds between the oxygens and the hydrogens. You're breaking this, what I called, temporary attraction between the oxygens and the hydrogens. The more these molecules stick together, the stronger this attraction is, the more likely a molecule is to be either a liquid or a solid. You have to break all of the hydrogen bonds between all of the molecules of water to boil it. That's a lot of energy, and it's why the boiling point is so high. So, to summarize, the boiling point of water is so high because water molecules have hydrogen bonding with each other. Among other intermolecular forces, hydrogen bonding is the strongest 
And so the boiling point of water is much higher than lots of other molecular compounds because the primary intermolecular force holding molecules together is hydrogen bonding. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.